We had a Hawkeye basketball in Des Moines this afternoon. The men's and women's teams both in action at Wells Fargo Arena for the High V Hawkeye Showcase. Local 5 Sport Director Reina Garcia has your recap. We had a sold out crowd on our hands here at Wells Fargo Arena for the doubleheader featuring the Iowa men's and women's basketball team and both teams delivered with some pretty big wins. The Hawkeyes returning to Wells Fargo Arena for the first time since 2018, trying to snap a three game losing streak this afternoon against Florida a and Iowa gets on the board first as Peyton Sanford turns and hits the jumper for the first points of the game. Later in the first half, Iowa up 10. They get it to the freshman Owen Freeman down low. He fights through the contact, draws the foul, and gets the basket. Another freshman having himself a day was Brock Harding. He's left wide open and makes them pay with the three. He was one of four Hawkeyes scoring in double figures this game. Tony Perkins was also one of them. He hits the jumper to put Iowa up 20 with just over six minutes left in the first half. Now check this out. In the final seconds of the first half, Freeman tips it in right at the buzzer off the inbound pass. He had a nice outing today with a double-double. The Hawks led by 23 at the break and kept their foot on the gas to get a much-needed win over Florida A&M, 88 to 52. You've heard us talk about a lot how many good players we have on this team, and um, you know we haven't been playing the connected basketball that we've needed to over that really tough stretch, but um, there's been a huge emphasis on it. We've been working on it, and you know practices have been very good and. Um, I'm proud of the way that we started, which is something that we need to do better, especially in those big games. I want to get them involved every game. You know, they're going to play a lot. Uh, they played a lot in every other game. Uh, it's an impressive group, and they'll just keep getting better the more experience they get. On to the women's game, a nice homecoming for Caitlin Clark as the Hawkeyes take on Cleveland State. The hometown hero did not disappoint. Up two in the first, Clark drains the three to increase the lead to five. Second quarter now, Hawks up five. Clark dishes it to Hannah Stolke down low. She bullies her way to the basket and lays it in off the glass to extend the lead to seven. A huge day for the sophomore, putting up a double-double. Later in the second, more Clark, more threes. She pulls up from almost half court and hits it. The crowd goes wild and she's loving every second of it. Let's move to the fourth quarter. Clark swings it to Kate Martin. She finishes it off beautifully and gets the foul. It's up smiles for Clark and the Hawkeyes. She finished with 38 points. 27 came from her nine three-pointers, and Iowa sends the crowd home happy, getting a big win over Cleveland State, 104-75. I felt a little bit like a tournament atmosphere again. It was electric, and I think a lot of these people haven't been able to see us play live, and so it was an opportunity for them to do so. And, uh, you know, I thought we did a nice job putting on a good show. I'm really just thankful that I was able to come back here and play in front of a lot of family and friends. And, um, you know, I thought we played really well. Um, yeah, it's just really exciting. I had chills when we ran out of the tunnel. It's just cool to see how people support us. And like Coach Bluter said, a lot of these people probably don't have the opportunity to get to see us play all the time. So um, it's cool to give people in Des Moines an opportunity to see us play live. Both teams will return to action next week with the men up first on Wednesday taking on UMBC and then the women on Thursday in their non-conference finale against Loyola Chicago. Reporting from Wells Fargo Arena, Raina Garcia, Local 5 Sports.